Chef Beige here. Welcome to our channel. Today we're gonna make Hyderabadi Biryani. Plus cucumber salad and tour dal soup. I've been asked to do chicken biryani, and that's what we're gonna do today. I have been with the Indian community since 1994, when I work for Indian chain restaurants. In the Middle East, I live and work with the Indian friends for several years. Here in the U.S., we live inside the Indian circle. The place is called Little India in New Jersey. Each time I open my window or my door, I know what's my neighbor's cooking. The aroma of curry makes me want to get rice, and that's it. <laughs> I love it. And since my house is just a few steps away from a bunch of Indian stores and groceries, I have no problem cooking the same food with complete Indian spices and ingredients. My kids grew up eating different cuisines and one of their favorites is Indian food. There are different versions of biryani. Our favorite is the Hyderabadi version. Aside from the taste, we also love the variations of color. There are also different ways of cooking it. But what's important is the finished product, the right texture, the aroma, and of course, the taste. My family is used to cooking Indian food. It's part of our routine menu. It's impossible to live without it. Indian food, like most cuisines, could be an acquired taste. Once you get used to it, you'll always look for it. It may seem like a complicated cooking process at first, probably because of unfamiliar spices for some. But don't get scared or be intimidated. It's not that hard. Once you know what you're doing, well, you gotta enjoy it. As you can see in the video, fry the mixture of spices for a few seconds, then put the chicken and saute. Cook the chicken two to three minutes on each side. This is part of boiled rice or partial boiled, meaning you don't fully cook it. I just added crushed tomatoes. You can use fresh tomatoes or dice them or tomato puree. After the meat and coriander leaves, add the first layer of crispy fried onions. This is my style. I don't put all onions at one time. I layer. Mm, look at that. Just stare gently and enjoy the amazing aroma. Do it with love. 
Just add a squeeze of lemon. Now, layer the top of the gravy with the rice. Make sure it's even. You may sprinkle more mint and coriander. Cover and cook on medium low for 20 minutes to cook the chicken. This is saffron water, most expensive spice of fall. This will make some part of fries yellow or orange, the bottom part is golden brown because of the gravy and some part of the top should be white, hence the variations of color. I added a little ghee on the top. Some melt the ghee first, which is better. More mint and coriander leaves and crispy fried onions. Cover it and cook for another 10 minutes on low. All right, it's done. But wait, there is more. Indians don't just eat biryani by itself. There are always side dishes. We're doing the salad and the dal soup. There is no need for so much explaining. Just watch the video. It is easy to follow. This is just a simple salad. The dal soup is on a separate video. I don't want to bore you guys with long video. See the separation of the color? This is the signature of the Hyderabadi biryani. We're doing the planning now. I'm excited to eat. This is the dal soup that I'm talking about a while ago. And we have a separate video for this. I just wanted to show you how much I enjoy this meal. If you're not comfortable seeing me eating, just skip this part. Wow, awesome. Look at this. Oh, I'm so excited.
Indians and Arabs love to use their hands when eating. With this food, I also prefer to eat with my hands. Some may not be comfortable with this. Let me tell you something here. If it doesn't bother you, don't let them judge you. Some of my friends are well off and famous in the society, but they have no problem eating with their utensils or with their hands. It's part of the culture and it is good to feel your food with your hand. As the saying goes, when in Rome, do what the agents do, right? <laughs> For our next video, we're gonna do the modern biryani. Thanks for watching, guys. God bless.